Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Ash lane like an absolute beast. If you're playing her bot lane, you're a beta who relies on a support to carry you. Also a big issue with bot lane is there's just too much damage coming at you and you're typically up against two range characters, oftentimes longer range than you, even if it's a Caitlyn or a Zerath, a Ziggs, Vel'Koz, you have to deal with a bunch of nonsense or even Lux Morgana. Top lane, we outrange everyone. We have 600 auto range, which is one of the highest in the games, just underneath Caitlyn's 650. And uh, we'll be able to sustain, play against any slow top laner quite easily. So for example, a Garen, a Kench, a Wooly Bear, easy, 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 easy. And that's what we're up against. I thought it was gonna be Mundo, but I think it's Garen. We have Fleet for the speed up and heal, Presence of Mind for Mana, with Alacrity, Kude, Gross, Celerity, Gathering Storm, alongside attack speed, movement speed, and health. The movement speed is really useful because Ash has terrible base movement speed at 325. First item rush will be a Bork, or I should say tier two boots into a Bork. Then we can look for things like Phantom Dancer for more movement speed. Heck, we could even go Phantom Dancer or Rush to be honest. I'm not gonna start with W because I don't really want to push the wave and W also uses a tremendous amount of mana. If he had basically like ranged attacks, I would. But since Garen's completely melee, the incentive for me to start W is incredibly low. I'd rather just have Q for the extra damage and attack speed. Oh no, he's gonna do it. He's gonna do the thing. Auto Q. <clears throat> he's just dead here. Auto W. Well played. Like I said, Ashtop's kind of crazy if you know how to kite. I told him to go easy on me first time Ash. I guess he believed me. He went real easy on me. He pushed forward. The thing is I'm so close to my turret. Even if he does commit, he can't kill me. I can keep just back up. So I basically just stopped backing up and said, what are you going to do? We called his bluff and let's get off more auto attacks essentially. I don't want him to get cannon, so I'm gonna hit him with an auto. The fleet speed up lets us immediately disengage from the minions that are hitting us since we're hitting him near his minions. Auto Q, and it also heals us to where we can mitigate a lot of the minion damage. Get him with two autos. There's a fleet heal in there. Auto W. Auto Q. Got it. Oof, barely missed it. I can't really do anything there. I don't have sums. Garen doesn't have sums though. All Brand has to do is ghost and get away if he wants to. I'm here though. I got him with a slow. He's dead. Nice. It's a buffet and Garen's on the menu. <laughs> All you can eat Garen over here. Tastes like dirty meatloaf. He's slowed. He's really got nowhere to go. Kane ghosted for that and he got nothing. I guess I could back. My wave's in a weird spot though. I kind of feel like I have to stay because of that. I have minion advantage. You'd normally max W first, but I kind of want to max Q first. They've nerfed W a lot on Ash. We're going to max it last it in protest. Fires less arrows than it even used to. That's gross that they would do that. Aesthetically, the ability is ruined. Auto W auto. Auto Q. Kane's got weak ganks. You can play pushed up for a bit. Just throwing single autos back out from underneath turret range. If we're not underneath turret range, we can just stand here and let him let it fly there you go buddy auto w at presence of mind so we're getting some mana back my ghost is on cooldown so this is a little bit dangerous especially since i don't have a ward down in this moment wow yeah my w does zero damage <laughs> It is really, really low. About time for me to back. It's on cannon wave, so now's the time. We see where the gain's at. I need to reset, though. All right. Why are you warding this right now, Garen? 
That's frustrating that he would have done that. Brand can take these. I have lane prior. I can come down. Garen randomly warded me out. I didn't want him to hit me and have Kane collapse or something weird. We'll just cancel our back. Easy, right? He wants cannon. He's going to have to pay for it. Pay the price, Garen! I don't really want a ghost. We hit him both with the slow. That's funny. I hit them both and still got my last hit. <laughs> Sick cane gank. I don't really have to push here. I don't necessarily need a gank. I can solo him in perpetuity. Phase Rush is incredibly good on Garen, but he's never going to be close enough to actually apply it. He'll have to flash to even use it. Oh, this is bad. Pantheon R, that's pretty funny. Nice jump, Pantheon. Auto Q. Auto down. He doesn't actually have R. That's kind of the funny thing. I still have my R too. I need help pushing this wave. Maybe I should have maxed W first just for the wave clear. Mm, almost missed cannon on that one. Man, I still have my R. Phantom Dancer is so appetizing. We have to go Swifties though. Be really, really fast. We'll go Phantom first. Yomu's isn't a bad rush because it's a lot of movement speed. Phantom is pretty affordable. 10% constant movement speed with all in all attractive stats. The 80 attack speed crit. The top lane meta is incredibly... Uh, I'd say top most lane meta in general is really stale. The fun of to enjoy is playing something a little more off meta or unconventional. And you can They don't have no idea how to play against it. Basically all they need to do is give up CS early on, preserve health, and wait for their level 6 and then all in you. Very few players are willing to do that because it's such a boring way to play. Auto Q. Auto W. See where their Mundo's at. It's funny they have a Mundo support. Looks like he's coming for me. <laughs> They're probably going to keep coming back since I'm Ash. Mundo just warded Brad's jungle. Ah. Uh, yeah, Pantheon's coming over here, most likely. I don't want to R for this, but I will if I have to. I launched it. That doesn't do anything, though, because it's passive. It just makes it harder for him to suicide since he just took damage. Boop. Garen panicked there. His Q does cleanse slow, so if I'm not really in range to hit him with another auto, he does kind of get away. Run him down. There it is. There you go, buddy. Thanks for the fleet. The ward right here for the cane. Launch an E. Let's see where if he's doing dragon or whatever. He is not on dragon currently. Boop. He's playing so far back. <laughs> Can't even see him. It's on a different screen. Boop. Oh, I'm dead. I have nowhere to go. Dude, I just got outplayed so hard. <laughs> yep, four people top. <laughs> this is such a weird game. They send four people top and we literally get nothing. I don't think we're going to get a turret plate. A little frustrating is what it is. We don't even have a dragon. We do at least have grubs, so that's fun. Oh, man, if it if I had ghost and flash, Pantheon put his R so deep behind me I couldn't escape backwards. I needed to react forwards faster, and I might have been able to stretch that out for a while. 
I want to kill this guy. He needs to suffer for what he just did. He doesn't have Q speed up. Now I walk him down. Auto Q, ghost with him. You don't have spin, my man. Boop. <laughs> Close by. <laughs> he, he actually fought it to the death. Props to him. Many people would have gotten uh, dejected there. At least Mundo got the gold and not him, so I can keep dominating the slam. Ah, oh, jeez. Boop. I don't really want to push. It's just so dangerous. They're willing to send their whole team up to kill me. We're not getting enough out of them doing it to where I just don't even want to push. Him pushing here is perfect. They're all missing. That makes me nervous. I'm trying to slow these guys down. You use best to use once you are pushed because you can slide it through the whole enemy's jungle. Kane's bot side. Garen's not even a full item. You cannot fight Bran there. Bran wins that. Oh, he saved that forever. Wave crashes. Feels bad. I'm going to miss. Cannon minion. Oof. Auto Q reset. Got the R. Auto W. He took some decent damage for that. Alright. I don't know if we can actually dive him. Maybe for Khan. Ooh, Rakan's pulling the wave so we can get our minis there sooner. We just don't have any damage, I think. Rakan's tanking. I'm gonna walk out of turret range. It's all heated up so it hurts. Killing Mundo here is unreasonable, I think. Ah, where is it? Nice. Kane's on his way. Kane is a full item. Got him with a W. I kind of have to reset here. Yeah, I'm very, very low. I have to leave. This is a bad fight. I think they're still coming for me. He almost got that on me. That's insane. From here... Yeah, I'd say Phantom Dancer into Bork. They have a huge HP tank, so Bork here is good. Otherwise, after Phantom Dancer, I'd go for Kraken or Trinity. Since they have Mundo, I'll run Bork. They also have Garen. Big HP, kind of clunky dude. I just realized we're actually losing right now. They have Dragon, and it's tied up in kills, and they have more turrets. That's insane. <laughs> they're, win <laughs> they're winning kind of 4v5 a little bit. Launch the R, get him with the W auto. He's trying to hit me with the heart still. I don't think I let him have it though. Twitch needs to chase the people who are chaseable, not Kane. Jeez, my teammates are so slow. Kai's everyone's ghosting. <laughs> Everyone but me. We do we win this, we win this. He slowed. Got his flash. Huh. Oh, Kane's here. Alright, let's see what happens. He slowed. That's funny that he actually thought that was a good idea. He said, you know what? I should just do it. <laughs> Don't let your dreams be dreams. Hey, he was making it happen. Boop. 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 
<laughs> I'm finding him with random autos. He's losing all of his health. They have no turret. Oh, I can't kill him. Maybe if I had Bork. That sucks. I'm out of here. I gotta leave. I'm getting close to my Bork purchase. Kaisa missile scaring me right now. Pantheon's gonna R something weird. Wow, Kaisa almost stole that. That must be warded. What are the odds she would miss lot that exact moment, right? Yeah, Ash Cube's insane. It hits hard. How much abort can we get? We can get Vampiric plus this. Big thing about melee tops is the tempo can get really boring and stale with how some matchups have to be played. As a ranged character, you can dictate a lot more and add a much faster and brutal pace. Got him with a slow. Oh, he flashed. Got my flash and ghost auto R auto. Hope it was worth it, Pantheon. You, sc you scumbag. I remember when I was watching the Justice League as a child. And I think it was the green arrow. He shot an arrow and he said something along the lines of later scumbag. And I thought that was so cool. And then I said that to my mom. She was saying something and I said... I, I, I basically just called my mom a scumbag and she wasn't too pleased. <laughs> I went through a phase where I was rhyming uh, scumbag, so bag with all sorts of things like hag and uh, <laughs> nag and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> I was very clever for uh, for eight year old repeating things I see on TV. Very original. The vague cage WQ. Do not have my R here. Oof, I don't like this fight. Hmm. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know how we're losing fights. I feel like we're ahead, but people are just... Their team's a little more grouped, maybe. I think maybe that's what's going on. What is going on over here, though? I knew he was going to cleave her. Got the fleet speed up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't have Bork yet, so my autos don't do a whole lot against that guy. I was trying to bait it out on Ward. Recall. I kind of have to hit Garen here. Ooh, I'm dead. I almost just died. If Muno had landed his cleaver, he's kind of just spazzing out now. Team needs to play towards me. There's too many of our teammates are just playing away from me, and it makes the game hard. Because our team has to be stacked since the enemies are beefy. Auto W auto. I don't have my R. It literally looked like I scripted that that cleaver dodge the way I moved I was kind of auto pathing though wait I think I was near a minion or something all right I'll take it I need more gold man I'm not farming enough if I was two full items there I probably would have gotten several kills just having the borks and make such a big difference I'll go for Kraken Slayer next into probably Trinity, Bloodthirster, or Terminus. Don't call it Terminus. I don't even know what someone would call it Terminus. Term Terminus, yeah, I think that's what they call it. A bunch of sheeple people. They probably call Yon Yone, which is kind of silly. Nice, nice, nice. We got some damage now. Twitch has Bork as well, so double Borkin for the Porkin. 
I don't really have very good vision right now. So the Pantheon's on our left side. Boop. There's the R. Vigar. I literally R'd and Vigar ran away. From the start of my R to where it landing, he literally just ran away. It's like, bro, that's your time to shine. Oh, I'm dead. Get wrecked, boy! Kited. Thank God he's not giga fed. <laughs> or I would have been dead. Praise the Lord. We are alive. We are the chosen. I might actually need Terminus now. If I can get some armor, it'll stop Kane from shredding my bunghole. Auto W auto. We definitely need heal cut. Bran has some. I don't think I got him with that. Oh, they're on Baron right now. Alright, auto Q auto. Alright, you guys are fighting on a vague cage. I don't know if you knew that. Get him with the R, W, flash the cleaver. Oh no, he's gonna he's gonna get me with the heart still. Oh no. <laughs> Alright. Should probably just group up and take Baron from here. I mean their jungler's dead. Them having both dragons is kinda tough. They can play for soul. Twitch is splitting, that's really useful. You love to see in a mobile team fight champion splitting. Heck spicy. Vigar is kind of blocking them off a little bit. Auto Q auto. Please, there we go. Brand gets the smite. Somebody pill me. He's gonna have to turn at some point. So there's someone right here. Garen's gonna go straight into the cage. Perfect. Throw out a W that way. Twitch needs to stay near us. Nice. This guy's got nowhere to go, right? We land the R, he's lined up with the wall. I hate how we can't actually stun him because of his stupid pass. If there's the Bork slow, my fleet speed up. Got with more slows. Ash is such a good counter to stuff like Mundo. Because Mundo counters hard CC, but slows counter Mundo. Because his passive doesn't stop slows, it stops hard CC like my R. My R still applies a little slow as well. That's why we're able to catch up a little bit. All right, we can get Terminus. It's time to shine. I could go for Hurricane. I think Terminus will be more advantageous, though. It's actually a weird time for me to back. We don't have time to take red. I might actually die right here. We have to get the drag and get position. Auto Q. W, auto. Save me! Oh, Pantheon's here. I'm gonna die! <laughs> Holy crap, don't let me die. <laughs> I was in such a bad spot. Brand clutched it, clutched it with the stun on Kane or I was a goner. This is bad if they get dragged. We should just stop hitting it, to be honest, and let it reset if it would. Yeah, just let it reset, please. They're sure they're gonna take it. They're gonna take it. Nice, the Brant's my. I have R. Eat it, buddy. All right, Garen, do it. I believe. <laughs> Garen goes in. He's been waiting to shine all game. The time is now. Like with our comp, 
we're all pretty immobile, but when we're together, we have enough damage and enough CC to where they lose. But before, there are too many people who are just kind of standing off on their own. We have the Roman Phalanx comp. We gotta stay tight, tight and packed. We mow down all of these filthy savages. With the double javelin and the scabbard sword. Alright, let's go for the, I guess, Terminus here. And I'll go Runans. But I'm not going Rabadan because I'm not an AP champ. The only AP scaling Ash has on R is 120%, which is considerably high. It's not worth, though. <laughs> yeah, Rabadan, Deathcat. <laughs> there are two. Garen's top. I mean, this is fightable. It's one less person here. Mundo Cleaver really hurts if you're full health. It does more damage the lower you are. We don't have Baron buff, so I guess we can't actually just walk this down. Someone has to go deal with Garen. Garen's going to get a turret. I get the R. Auto W. Nice Vey Cage. Vey Cage is such a disgusting ability. Got down our W. Alright, I guess we base race. Base race. Can Garen do it? Let's find out. <laughs> Can he help? I'll base race four players. Boo, 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 boo. Got it with the flash. Turret doesn't matter if we have a support there. That's game. GG's. That was a fun game, man. Playing range top, playing ash top, so much fun against champions. Like, we're slow, can never get to you no matter what they do. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage dealt against enemy champions, we had the most in the game by quite a bit. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> Garen had nearly... <laughs> Garen had uh, half of her god's damage just about. Oh, poor guy. He literally can't get on anyone in fights because Rakan can hide on backline since he's got so many dashes. And then Garen steps forward and gets blasted by everybody. So he had no damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's too funny. Uh, damage taken, we're somewhat middle-ish. Self-mitigated, somewhat middle-ish. And for runes, high value. On all, Ash Top, really freaking good against champions with low mobility because they can't play the game. If you enjoyed this Ash video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. And let me know what champion you want to see next. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.